Hi guys, I'm Raval. Welcome back to this PHP Storm series. Remember, we are using PHP Unit within PHP Storm, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can actually set this up. So, as you know from the previous video, I already have this set up, but I'm going to take you through my setup. So, we're going to go to File, and not default settings, but just settings. On the Mac, I think you just need to go to um, PHP Storm and then preferences. I'm going to open this up. And so just remember by going to settings and not default settings, what we're doing is we are changing settings on a per project basis, which means that whenever we make a change now in this dialog, it's going to only affect this project. It's not going to affect all. So um, what you need to do is go to settings and then go languages and frameworks and then PHP. So what you need to do is set up an interpreter. In my case, as I just said, mine is already set up and I'm using PHP 7. So you can select the language from the drop down here. So the version of the language, um, you select whatever you are using. And um, my interpreter is already set. If you do not have one set, just click this button here and you would have to set up a new one by clicking the plus. But let's just take you through mine. So I have PHP 7.0.8 and um, I'm using XAMPP, so XAMPP controls, you know, my Apache, my PHP, my SQL versions. And um, of course, at the, late, at the time of this recording, I have the latest version of XAMPP. And um, I've just taken a look for a PHP executable file, and I've given the path to my PHP executable file within my XAMPP folder. It's automatically uh, detected the version, and um, it looks like it's good to go. So I'm just going to cancel that. So make sure that's set up first. Then you can go down to PHP unit and you have some more settings here. So you can use composer autoloader. You can use a path to PHP unit far. I think that's how you pronounce that. And um, you can also load from include path. Now I've only tried these two. Um, let's take path to PHP unit first. So on windows, you can see um, I've gone to my project, it's vendor, PHP unit, PHP unit, PHP unit. So just take a look at that. So uh, vendor, PHP unit, PHP unit, and then PHP unit. So that's what it needs to work here. And um, test runner, so default configuration file. Of course, you can just go to your projects, PHP unit .xml. And that's all you need to do there. Now, I know that, you know, I've, I've given this as my configuration. Yours could be slightly different. Of course, parts will be different. If you're using Mac, it's going to be different. You may have to go to the vendor bin and find PHP unit there rather than um, finding PHP unit in the vendor PHP unit file. So, look, I know that I've suggested a certain way of doing it here, and this seems to work for my configuration. It works for Windows and PHP Storm with PHP unit. Um, I hope it works in your in your setup. You know, everyone's setup tends to be slightly different. So um, I'm going to, you know, I don't have to click OK. It's already done. Um, the next thing you need to do is the test will own run. You need to set up a configuration. So go to Edit Configurations. And what you're pretty much doing is you're setting up the command that you would usually run here. So as you know, we have this massive command that we don't really want to keep writing out all the time. So what you need to do is configure PHP Storm to run that command. So um, what you need to do is you can create a new one here and select PHP unit. I already have mine, so I already have there. Um, I've got a name for it and test scope. So you can, you know, with PHP unit, you can go right down to the method or the class or the whole directory. And um, that's what test run is giving you the option here for test scope. So in my case, I'm selecting directory because I want to run all the tests within a certain directory. And then below that, just here, I'm giving it that directory. Uh, and literally, that's it. That's all it, that is required here. So if I hit Shift F10, there you go. It runs a test. Now, I hope that helps you, and I hope that configuration works. I do know that it can be slightly different. If you're using something like Codeception, um, let's go into the settings again. 
sometimes, um, even though this is not perfect for unit testing because you don't want to be loading your application, but I know by using Codeception, there's certain things like um, C in database or have in database. I think that's the, I think it's C in database is the method that um, actually requires a connection to the database. And with Codeception, it actually defines that as a unit test. So the test to help a method C in database technically really isn't a unit test, but it is an integration test. And um, since Codeception classes as a unit test, you might be really confused as to why your setup uh, is not working in your IDE. And that's potentially because you're not loading your um, bootstrap file. And to do that, you just go back to PHP unit here, uh, check this option and find the bootstrap file for your unit tests. So um, yeah, that's how you would make that work. I hope this video helps and I hope it really works. If you guys are having any issues, put it in the comments below so we can work through it together. Um, I'm really seeing a lot of benefits from using the IDE to run your tests. It's much quicker, it's more robust, it's easier to read. And at the end of the day, all we want to do is produce work faster and um, the IDE is, there. IDE is there to help, so don't ignore it.